Hi everybody, I'm Kathleen Jean-Pierre, a business development manager at Google. And today I have the pleasure of hanging out with Mike Muttner, the CEO of the digital marketing agency W Promote. So today we're approaching, we're fast approaching the holiday season and you guys launch a new initiative which is called 100 Days of Holidays. So first question for you, when, as marketers, when do we start planning for the holiday season? And is the season literally as long as you make it sound, 100 days? <laughs> when we think of that 100 days, we're doing planning in August and September. We're starting to launch creative and campaigns in October. It obviously hits big time stride in November and all the way through the, through the end of Christmas. And then in January, we're doing the postmortem. We're figuring out what worked, what mm. didn't work. Uh, and we're starting the planning for next year. So yeah, we, we really want to instill this idea that it is, you know, it's about 100 days long. Awesome. And what are the new trends you're seeing for this year? What's going to happen? You know, I think one of the things that, we've, that we're seeing that will become especially important to, to get, for marketers to get their heads around mm -hmm. this year is the complexity of the purchase, right? So we have, we're jumping devices. I'm jumping from a phone to a laptop at home to a desktop. Uh, we're in different platforms. We're in search and social and email. Uh, it makes it really hard to track and understand the exact influence of all these things. Mm -hmm. And yet that's how people are buying. So I think, you know, step one is admitting <laughs> that this is the case and sort of embracing it. Uh, and step two, de developing content and messaging campaigns around that. But I think the single biggest trend is going to be that that path to purchase mm -hmm. has gotten a lot more confusing. And yet there's more purchases happening, right? Mm -hmm. So it's all the more important to spend the time to figure out what's going on. Got it. And what, what is the thing you think the most people overlook when it comes to holiday digital marketing? So I, I think that the, the thing that goes wrong most often mm -hmm. is that there's so much pressure around holidays, it's, it's a huge part of the year, that so, there's almost too many cooks in the kitchen do, doing too many things, mm -hmm. right? It becomes nine different initiatives, um, you know, Cyber Monday and Black Friday and, and, and our promotions and our email. And when these are all happening, uh, in different silos or they're overlapping. I think the, the metaphor that I would use is um, it's nice as a marketer to think of these different channels, paid search, organic display, you know, email, on-site, um, as, as lanes in a pool, right? Mm -hmm. And each, each kind of channel obeys its lane and, and doesn't really interfere. It's not, it's a pool party, right? And, nice. and it is, there's a ton of interaction. And if the, the consumer is not aware of the lane, right? So mm -hmm. they're, they're, gonna, they're gonna be jumping their devices and they're gonna be, again, following this complex journey. Um, that is probably, I think, the embracing the pool party <laughs> or not embracing it mm -hmm. is probably the biggest overlooked aspect. You have nine different people doing nine different things and they're not really talking and sharing and having a cohesive strategy. So if online shopping is increasing, how do marketers determine if their growth is better than the average? How do you benchmark? <laughs> yeah, so, so one of the things we always say is if, if, if e-commerce grew 7% this year, I don't want our clients to just grow 7%. That to mm -hmm. me is not successful. You, that's, you, you, you just rose with the tide, right? I, mm -hmm. want, to, I want to, you know, leapfrog, right? And um, so what we'll look at is A, what is happening in, in a macro sense, but we want to be aware of that. Mm -hmm. um, B, what's happening in that industry, that vertical, if that's growing three times as fast, then that should be my benchmark and, I, and not the, the entire you know, digital commerce world. And third, how did this, you know, organization do last year, right? Mm -hmm. um, and ultimately what I'm gonna use those to do is create a goal that's gonna be challenging to hit. And, mm -hmm. and, and I, we generally are not satisfied um, just barely beating a benchmark. I wanna blow the benchmark out of the water. I, I wanna set the new benchmark for next year. Mm -hmm. I wanna make next year's baseline really challenging to hit. Mm. Great, so you stretch yourself. Absolutely. So if you had a time machine <laughs> to January yeah. 1st, and took your biggest success of the holidays. What do you think would be the secret was to crushing it in 2015? I think I would say that the, the biggest successful campaigns, uh, the ones that really blew it out of the water, uh, had preparation and planning. They kind of embraced this idea of this mm -hmm. 100 days of holiday, right? Mm -hmm. And had the their different channels talking to each other, that had messaging and tracking and attribution that, that looked across all the channels. Mm -hmm. um, my guess is those are the ones that, in January first time machine, when we look back, we'll say they really nailed it. This is awesome. I'm ready to go shopping now. Let's do it. Happy holidays. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much, Mike. Th Thank you for having me.